Hello Forge fans! Over two years ago, the Guild Battlegrounds came to Forge of Empires and were accepted by many of you with great joy and have been played with overwhelming participation ever since. That's why we're proud to present you the first major update of Guild Battlegrounds. But before we start, please subscribe to this channel to never miss any videos about Forge of Empires. The biggest new feature is a completely new map where you can compete with other guilds from now on. The Waterfall Archipelago. Again, 5 to 8 guilds play against each other to collect the most victory points, which now have up to 6 neighboring provinces instead of the maximum of 4 to 5 on the previous map. This brings more strategy to the planning of attacks and opens new possibilities against other guilds. There is also an additional province in the middle of the map that can be attacked from all sides. To simplify planning and coordination in your guild, the naming scheme of provinces has also been changed and another letter has been added to the identifier. However, the new map in no way replaces the old familiar volcano map. The two maps will alternate every season, every two weeks, and your entire world will play on the same map at the same time. Inspired by the wonderful visuals of the latest cultural settlement, the Mughal Empire, there are also new prizes to be won that pick up that theme once again. Completing battles on the new map will give you the chance to receive fragments for the Great Elephant Selection Kit. A new building with 8 levels again. When you reach the final level, however, this time you can choose between 3 different looks. Elephant's Royalty with increased coin and forge point production. The Elephant's Bazaar with increased production of goods for your guild treasury. Or the Elephant's Citadel with an increased attack bonus for your attacking army. Also, this is again a chain building. The iridescent garden can be attached to the left side to produce additional happiness, three goods, as well as a forge point, and increase the defense of your attacking army. By the way, the Great Elephant does not replace the Statue of Honor. You can still win it by playing the previous map every two weeks. Your guild overview now shows your current guild battlegrounds league, as well as how many times your guild has won in which league. If you click on this overview, we'll also show you how many times you have participated in the respective leagues. For the participation in a league to be counted, all players of the guild must achieve a minimum number of action points. This is 40, with each battle won earning 1 point and each successful negotiation earning 2 points. In order to enjoy the new map as much as possible, there will be a few quality of life adjustments that will make planning and strategizing for your guild easier. There is a new button that shows more details about all provinces. On each province, whether on the new or the old map, a new badge will appear with the name of the province and the number of available building slots. So you don't need to close your messages and open each province individually to find out this important information. From now on, a single click is enough. Furthermore, even more information is now displayed in the Battlegrounds log. This includes when a player of your guild attacks a sector that is marked as Ignore. This information will only be displayed once per day for each player per sector. If the player attacks this sector more than once, it will not be written down, unless this happens on the following day. In addition, it will also be written down which player performed the last action to take a sector if the sector belonged to a guild before. The new logs should help you to better understand unintentional actions and to celebrate successes. We hope you enjoy the first major update of Guild Battlegrounds and that it will be at least as much fun as the first map. Feel free to write us your opinion or wishes for future updates in the comments below the video. Don't forget to leave a like and enjoy the waterfall archipelago with its wonderful rewards. See you soon!